Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So we're going to discuss the recent drama that is going on right now with the Dalai Lama. So if you guys do not know, there was a new video that we posted this weekend, and it showed the Dalai Lama. Basically, there was this child, he asked, the, you know, he asked the Dalai Lama in front of everybody, can I please get a hug? The Dalai Lama says, okay, cool, you know, come on up here. And he gives the child a hug and then like a kiss on the forehead. And then it starts getting kind of sinister. It seems like the Dalai Lama forgets that there's a room full of people watching. He then proceeds to basically force the child to kiss him on the lips. And then he asks this child to suck his tongue. Y'all go ahead and watch this really quick. Can I hug you? Yes, sir. It's a question. Okay, come. <laughs> Who's here? <laughs> then I think finally here also. <laughs> and suck my tongue. <laughs> all right so you guys just watched that the event took place in northern india so of course once this went viral people were dragging the dalai lama by his bald ass head okay so people were not here for this at all so this morning the office of the dalai lama released a statement apologizing for the incident and expressing regret for any hurt his actions may have caused the statement explained that the spiritual leader often teases people in an innocent playful manner even in public before cameras take you through what really happened now like you pointed out this was a at an event in India, that's where the Dalai Lama, the 14th Dalai Lama, is in permanent exile in North India. Now this boy, you can see him approaching the Dalai Lama, he asks him for a hug. And the Dalai Lama calls him on stage and he says, give me a kiss on the cheek and a hug. And the boy obliges. But then moments later, the Dalai Lama then looks at the boy and says, now give me a kiss on the lips. And then he pulls in the boy's chin and kisses him on the mouth. And just moments later, the Dalai Lama says, quote, and suck my tongue, unquote. That's what he says to the child. Now, this entire exchange between that minor and the Dalai Lama has led to furor among certain sections on social media that have gone ahead and condemned the actions of the Dalai Lama. What's interesting here, Bianca, is that this exchange is from February, like you and I have just pointed out. But the apology comes today. Weeks later, after the criticism uh, the Dalai Lama has faced online from people who have actually been surprised and taken aback by the actions of the spiritual leader. Let me just read out the apology that has come out in the form of a statement from the Dalai Lama's office. It says a video clip has been circulating that shows a recent meeting with a young boy asked, when a young boy asked His Holiness the Dalai Lama if he could give him a hug. His Holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family, as well as his many friends across the world for the hurt his words may have caused. His Holiness often teases people he meets in an innocent and playful way, even in public and before cameras. He regrets the incident. So clearly, from the statement, what one can infer is that this was a way of teasing that young boy, a playful conversation, but according to certain people, it may have just gone a bit too far. Well, my issue with that is that this is not a quote unquote people. This is a young child. And what part of telling a young child to suck your tongue is innocent. And then you move forward and you stick your tongue out. 
wanting the child to suck your tongue and you could tell this baby was clearly uncomfortable with what the Dalai Lama was doing. He simply wanted to show him appreciation and hug him. He didn't want to French kiss you, sir. Okay. So I'm not buying this whole, oh, he just jokes. It's innocent. It's playful. No, sir. You get the side eye from me. Okay. So now on top of that, the identity of the child is currently unknown. The event that he attended was the M3M Foundation event, which is a part of an Indian real estate company. The Delhi-based child rights group, which is called the Center for Child Rights, um, basically they condemn all forms of child abuse. And they stated that even in Tibetan culture, this video and this expression is not acceptable whatsoever. Now the Dalai Lama, his real name is, is Tenzin Gayaso. He's the best known living Buddhist figure in the world and spiritual leader. Um, he also runs the school of Tibetan Buddhism, which is based in India and he's been running it since 1959. So again, this whole situation has sparked a lot of controversy and it's not the first time that he's faced controversy. Um, he previously apologized for comments that he made in 2019, where he did an interview with the BBC where he suggested that any female Dalai Lamas, they need to be more attractive because the current ones that I guess are Dalai Lamas are not attractive, says the man who is also mediocre in his looks. But I digress. Now, on top of that, rap superstar Cardi B is also speaking on the situation and Cardi B is basically expressing disgust after seeing the clips of the Dalai Lama. So basically, Cardi took to Twitter and she wrote the following. She says, the world is full of predators. They prey on the innocent, the ones who are most annoying, our children. Predators could be our neighbors, our school teachers, even people with money, power, and our churches. Constantly talk to your kids about boundaries and what they shouldn't allow people to do to them. So that is what Cardi B says. And she says that, you know, as somebody who is a mother. And so once that tweet went viral, people started attacking her and basically stating that, you know, she herself is a predator. Um, she tried to drug and rape men and all this other nonsense. So Cardi B was not here for it. And she came back and she stuck up for herself and she explained herself. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out the response that she had to all the naysayers on Twitter. Check this out. Something, right? So I'm getting in here because... All right, just so y'all see that I'm not lying, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post this screenshot, right? So me and one of my high school friends, <clears throat> we don't really talk much, but sometimes we do be speaking. And like, she is really like one of. She's really like a, a conspiracy. She's like she's like a very woke person. Sometimes she believes certain conspiracy, and sometimes we would debate about it. But it's crazy because we was just talking about how just how fucking sick there's like a lot of predators out there and like we both are mothers she got three kids and i got two kids and we was just talking about predators and we was just talking about how like predators and fucking people that like desire kids are like literally everywhere like like it could be your next door neighbors it could be teachers it could be a bum in the street and it could also be a fucking billionaire it could be a mayor it could be a person that runs a church actually most a lot of times it's a lot of people that um take advantage of religion and they will take advantage of religion and because they have that power they will take advantage of our children and you know what they are people that are always running these religions and these beliefs they're usually men men but don't get it twisted there's a lot of freaky women so um and it could also be a fucking billionaire it could be a mayor it could be a person that runs a church actually most a lot of times it's a lot of people that um take advantage of religion and they will take advantage of religion and because they have that power they will take advantage of our children and you know what they are people that are always running these religions and these beliefs they're usually men men but don't get it twisted there's a lot of freaky women so um nothing we was literally like talking about it like we was just literally like talking about it i'll take it off now so me and my friend was literally talking about it last night. How I take it off? I want to take it off. 
And then um, this morning, or when I got off the plane, I see this guy, this, I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's like a monk or a spiritualist, whatever the fuck. I see that he kissed a boy on his mouth. And it's just like, damn, this is just go back to the conversation that I just had yesterday. Like, it's like some people take advantage of religion and start doing perverted things to our children. So I posted a tweet about it, right? So I posted a tweet about it because it's just like, yo, we really have to protect our kids any way possible. And we have to, like, let our kids know to be alert and, like, know that there's a violation when people touch your private parts when it comes to family when it talk to friends when it comes to teachers or when it comes to other kids you know what i'm saying because there's some kids that are more advanced than others so i put the tweet up right i put the tweet up and now people want to come at me like oh bitch you're the wrong messenger you're the wrong messenger then you robbing drug men and it's like listen 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 y'all not gonna keep doing this because when it comes to fucking weird ass predators and rapists and pedophiles and shit i'm really like i'm really like i don't play that shit i really don't fucking play that shit and for y'all to like trying to say that i'm like some predator or i'm some weird bitch because niggas wanted to buy pussy from me and a lot of y'all be like oh these were vulnerable men you took advantage of these were not no fucking vulnerable men these are some freak ass niggas that like to go to the strip club they like to get drunk and after you go after the fucking club is closed they trying to fucking take advantage of bitches and trying to bargain no nigga i'm gonna go through them fucking pockets and and then y'all be like, you drug and rob them. Did I touch their body? Did I touch their penis? Did I touch, touch their ass? Did I touch them? Did I put my lips on them? No. No type of fucking touching. Don't confuse. And even if y'all claim, oh, you robbed them, what's robbing and uh, robbing and, and raping is? Two different type of shit. So don't fucking call me no rapist. Don't call me no fucking predator. Don't fucking play with my name like that because I don't play that shit. So that's all I'm saying. Stop fucking playing with me. Don't fucking play with me and listen. And I and 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 the reason why I'm showing this DM between me and my friend is because I don't want y'all to think that that tweet that I did was on some pick me tweet. Like, oh, I want, I want, uh, I want, I want to go viral. No, it's because I already was having this conversation yesterday with my friend from high school, and then boom, what we see on the news early, some fucking what is it? He a mom or something? Oh. Like a mom kissing on a boy and his parents is right there. No, set boundaries. Sometimes um, people, like if you ever watch the LSD church, people let, people let religion, they let people take advantage of their kids because of religion. Every type of relig religion. LSD church is an American fucking religion. And there's fucking religions all around the world that people... And there's so many people that prey on kids. I mean, like you go to your favorite, you could go to your favorite porn website right now, and like you will see titles like "teenager getting fucked by their stepdad," "teenage girl getting fucked by their stepmom." Like, what type of weird shit is that? These are these are on public porn sites. These type of titles are on public porn sites. And like, not only do you like, I, I personally think that there's a lot of people that have influence that are have billions. We're not talking about Hollywood money. We're talking about move the world money. That are that are freaks. I mean, look at the whole fucking Jeffrey Epstein shit. Look at look at the fucking. Sorry, y'all. I'm on live, y'all. I'm on live, y'all. Shit, y'all even gotta watch out for your own family member. I don't have nobody in my family like that, but it's like you got you gotta watch out for everybody. You. And you know what? A lot of times we say, and because of that tweet, people talking about like, oh, but you the wrong messenger. How am I the wrong messenger, bitch? I'm the right messenger because I'm a fucking mom. I'm a fucking mom. And I'm a fucking woman. And I'm a girl that as a teenager, my body got abused. That don't talk about that shit because it's like, that's another story for another time. But just the whole fact that it's like, for y'all to even try me because I want I want y'all to protect y'all children because y'all need to be more careful with y'all kids. Y'all fucking sick. And it, and it makes me feel like y'all party predators, y'all fucking self. The fuck? There's a lot of weird shit that be going the fuck on. That as you get older and as you get wiser, you see that like we live in a very freaky ass world.
All right, so you guys just heard what Cardi B had to say about the situation, and I, for one, am glad that she's addressing the criticism head on as far as the entire situation. I think at the end of the day, a lot of political and religious figures do take advantage of young children, and unfortunately, sometimes the parents allow it. They feel like because this person has power and prestige, it's okay. We can even look at the R. Kelly victims. Look how many parents were willing to sell their daughters off to R. Kelly for a shot of fame for their children and that also happens with religious figures where parents will look the other way while their child is being harmed by these religious figures I feel like everything that she was saying about that situation is very truthful and it's coming from the fact that she herself is a mother and as a mother you will do anything to protect your child and I don't believe that she's the wrong messenger at all I think as a mother and as an adult you should understand the message that she's putting out there and the fact that she's saying Put children first. Talk to your children. Let them know what's acceptable and what's unacceptable for adults or other children to do around them. You know, these are uncomfortable conversations that you have to have. And one of the things as parents, you need to understand that you never allow anyone. I don't give a damn how big their status is. I don't care if it's the president of the United States, if it's the Dalai Lama, if it's a rapper. You never allow anyone to make your child feel uncomfortable. As soon as you're sensing that your child is uncomfortable, that parent should have got up and grabbed his or her child. I'm sorry, I'm not going to sit there and watch the Dalai Lama ask my son to suck on his tongue. I would have threw a shoe at his ass. Okay, so I think at this point, we have to have these truthful, sometimes uncomfortable conversations with our children. You know, it's really sad. And you can tell that his intentions were not good. It's almost like he literally forgot people were there. It's like as soon as the little boy hugged him, it set out some type of perverted sensor in his body. It's like he loved that hug. And all of a sudden, you know, he was back in his bedroom and it's just him and this little boy. And I would not be surprised if, you know, people start coming out and saying that they were abused possibly by the Dalai Lama. You know, it happens all the time. Look at the Catholic Church. Look how many priests in the Catholic Church abused young boys. And one of the things I love that Cardi B was saying, and this is one of the things I've said on my channel many a times, is that so many times we always focus on young girls being molested and being touched. And, you know, we never really assume it with boys. But we have to have these same conversations with our sons. The same way our daughters get preyed on, Young boys get preyed on as well. And a lot of times with young boys, it can affect them even worse because they don't always have an outlet to speak and say that they were touched or they were molested or that they were, you know, art or sexually abused by somebody. They don't always have that outlet that young girls have and women have. So we need to protect all children regardless of the gender. But this whole Dalai Lama situation does not sit well with my spirit. And I really feel like there needs to be an investigation. You know, they need to look into this because he was way too comfortable. I don't see like, how is that a joke? If he wouldn't joke with an adult in that manner, why would you joke in that manner with a child? So I believe this clip showed me everything I need to know about the Dalai Lama. So anyways, I leave the question up to you guys. How do you guys feel about the situation? How do you guys feel about the video? Do you guys accept the apology? Or do you feel like, you know, something's not cleaning the buttermilk? And then how do you feel about what Cardi B had to say and some of the backlash that she caught, you know, speaking up and taking up for children? So let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. I look forward to reading them all. Please make sure you hit this video with the like button. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.